Consensus is definitely one of the best AI-powered tools available in the market for academic purposes. If you are a researcher, scientist, student, doctor, clinician, content creator, journalist, health or fitness expert, or anyone wants to write down a serious content, a reference-based, well-organized content about anything, Consensus is for you, definitely. So. This is the website, this is the main page of the consensus, and the website is consensus.app. And when you go into this, sign up and sign in, you are all done. We can start searching. But before doing that, I definitely suggest creating a list. How we can do that, creating here, you will see your lists, view all lists. I created this one, chapter one. I usually like creating the chapters, the lists according to the chapters of my work. You can do, you can name it whatever you want, then you are all done. It is nice to organize papers you are going to find and to add into it. Let's go into the main page and here I'm going to write down does climate change impact global migration patterns? Hit enter. As you see, within a second, it found many articles for me. Consensus has access to over 200 million articles, academic, academic articles from different sources. So with it, you can do a search, you can do a literature review, you can start writing, you can start finding sources for your assignment, essay, whatever it is. But I always suggest, as usually in my all other tutorials, better combine different, it is always better to combine different AI tools because relying on only one AI tools maybe not deliver the result that we really want. So here the question we have, does climate change impact global migration papers? Here with this, we see the papers. And it can also show me the study snapshot here, the population and sample size here not available for papers for, for this paper, but for some papers, these numbers are available. You can see that when you do your own research, but I want to show you the synthesize and co-pilot here, what, what they do for us. When I click on the synthesize button here, and let's see what does it do. So you will see this consensus meter. So consensus meter shows me how many papers it analyzed to reach to this consensus, 16. Of course, this 16 is not enough to have a the, let's say the ultimate consensus on the issue, but at least the analyzed papers says me that 88%, for example, in this case says yes, and 12% says possibly yes, and no one says no. So does climate change impact global migration patterns? Yes, mostly academic articles says yes, say yes. But as I said, it shows me only 16 papers. It is, all, it is better to check the papers here, and which I'm going to do at least for one, and then you decide. So this is a, maybe a good start in the beginning to have an opinion to which direction you can incline, you can navigate. And here we see the summary. Before Copilot, let's see the summary. This summary is written based on 10 papers analyzed. I don't really know how they do this analysis, but it is, as I said, it is always a nice start. You assume that you want to start doing your research. You want to start from somewhere and you do not have an idea or very little ideas. And then you can use these options and then the rest will come. And here Copilot, if I click on that, as you see, it writes this introduction and key insights for me. The climate change is increasingly recognized as a significant driver of global migration patterns. It's a very nice short introduction to the topic. And here it shows me key insights. And under these key insights, the best uh, thing is that it also shows me the sources. If I click, for example, this number one source, it navigates me, it directs me to the sources. It's referred while writing the sentence here and all other sources you can find. As So again, this is a very nice start. I already have 10 sources here. I can navigate them. I can read them and I can myself define my direction and I can also check their footnotes, let's say, and I can definitely have a nice start here. The consensus has nice filters as well. Here, as you can see, when you click on filters, you will see this, you can select the year, the published since, for example, 2021, and you can also type down consensus shows you, let, let the content, consensus shows you the, only the papers which has more than, let's say, five citations, if you, if you write down five. And with the methods, you can select different methods here, for example, systematic review or literature review, and consensus will show you the papers only based on this filtering option. And you can also check these study details, controlled studies, human studies, and you can select different journals, although I don't like them. And domains you can select, for example, in my case, it is law, or in your case, it could be the domain that you are doing your research. So these are the filters, check them yourself. And another one, the good one I want to show you is 
saving, let's say, articles to your list. As I showed you in the beginning, you created your list. You want to organize your all papers. Then here you can, if you click the save button here, and then you can see, for example, chapter one here. And if I select that and it is done. And if I go to my list and if we go to chapter, so this one I added, so the, the one already added and I added new one here. And for example, if you are using the citation tools like Zotero, Mendeley and others, you can add these papers directly to your library as well. For example, if I click here and save to Zotero and then you can create Zotero item node for selection. Or I think if you click here, so you can save Zotero DOI. If the paper has DOI number, it will take that and add to your Zotero library. So that was basically the website of the consensus. But consensus does have the, its own GPT on the GPT store of the ChatGPT's website. So OpenAI's ChatGPT, I'm sure that you heard about it. If you are watching this video, I assume that you know what ChatGPT is. So if you go to the GPT store of the ChatGPT and write down this consensus, you will see this consensus plugin there. And as you see, consensus plugin is number two in research and analysis here. And over 5 million conversations are on this tool here. And it has a nice rating as well. So let's start chatting here. You can start chatting, let's say, does climate change impact global migration patterns? I'm asking the same question here as well. And click on enter button and talking to chat consensus app. So it is going to write down the introduction and the evidence. Again, as I said, this is a very nice start to, to do your literature review or to find sources for your essay, for your assignment. But I must mention that never copy paste the text. You have to refine this text. You have to add your own voice to this text if you copy paste. Actually, I never recommend copy pasting any AI generated text from any AI tool, including ChatGPT and other AI tools. It's not yours. It is. It, it, it might be a nice starting point, but this text is not yours. You have to be very careful with that because you never know which part of your text could be flagged as AI generated and that might negatively affect your whole work. But this, this is definitely a nice start. This could be very nice start. And again, coming back to the website of the consensus, let's say, so they asked me to review this tool. It is definitely one of my favorites. I, I have done this uh, with a joy and they have a nice plans here. And if you are a student, you can claim 40% discount. But for today, I am giving you, they gave me a special discount code, which I will put in the description and you will see on the screen as well that with Vugar 40, you can save 40%, 40% of the price you see, and you can enjoy the, all these features of the consensus. I hope you like this video. If you do, please hit like button and please subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials. And if you have any question, if you have an experience with these AI tools, please feel free to comment. Thank you for your attention.